I'm curious because I definitely relate if someone goes like, what do you want? And I'm like, I just don't see, I don't know what you're really asking me or what you want me to say mm. right now, but I'm not someone that works in those black and whites. You know, I have a German friend I was talking to you about earlier. Mm-hmm. Maybe someone like that, he's like, I tell you exactly what I want. And I, this, mm-hmm. this is, I can tell you somewhat of a specific of how I want my life to unfold, but part of me doesn't give a what my life looks like, so I can't give you specifics, but I can tell you where I want to be as a person, as a man and a businessman and husband and father ongoingly, bit by bit, so I'm in a position for life to unfold in a way that I know is congruent with my purposefulness. And so I just want to be in that. That's what I want. I'm not going to go too much deeper. Here, it'll take me too long to explain to myself what my process is. But how do you then frame up that? What do you want? And then how do you bring color to the responses and nuance into the way that men are answering that question when you're working with them? Awesome. What you just said then is a really important detail is we're not looking for the blueprint, right? It's like, what direction do you aim your arrow in? And I feel like that's what you described. You know what direction you aim your arrow, but you've been walking your own path long enough and been in a place of self-responsibility long enough to know that as you evolve, so does that vision and so does what you're about and what you're building and and all of that. And that's a very important detail is we're not looking for the thing and it has to be that forever. Right now, we're just trying to find what is your north? Where does north point on the compass? So the places that I would start is that question, and this is a really popular one in personal development, and I think it's deservingly so, value systems. So all things are governed by a value system, things that we deem as important and prioritize. And value system is basically like a filtration system and things pass through that value system and I make my decisions based on those values. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to someone getting clearer on who they are, again, this is one of those confronting questions. It's like, what if you were to name me the things that you value highest, four of them, just four of them, and do so from as selfish a place as you can, just you. And a meditation that can help with this is to call in and visualize your inner child and just observe them. What do they gravitate to? What do they resonate with? And then you can call in your inner elder and just observe the essence and the energy of the inner elder that's past all the of that middle stage of life, childhood to old age. Mm. And then it's like, name them. And for some people, it's like adventure. You know, for me, one of my core values is solitude. That's so important for me to build and design into my life. And I have done. Somebody else, it could be like honesty. And they just use that as their means of establishing what is a yes and what is a no in their life. And if somebody can't answer that, these are my prime core values, just four or five, then it's like, okay, no wonder you hate the job that you're in. Mm-hmm. Starting to make sense. Whose values are you living out right now? What drove you to say yes to staying in a job that you despise and is literally sucking you of your life force essence and you have inflammatory disorders, you're tired, you're using alcohol and weed as a crutch and not really connecting in your relationship. It's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, this is what my dad did. He worked his fingers to the bone and he valued hard work. Mm. And so it's like, okay, now we're starting to take stock of who you are and where you aren't living in accordance with your true essence. And it's like, that doesn't mean you need to quit your job straight away, but just have the awareness. And now you can start to dream into that question. What do I want? So if you were coming from your own value system, what would change? 